Hello and welcome to Applying 3D with Experts video series. My name is Ben Gerstenberger. I'm Knowledge Domain Expert for AutoCAD and Specialized Toolset and Escalation Lead for AutoCAD Plan 3D. Today's topic are the new features of AutoCAD Plan 3D 2023. We have several new features to present. The new features will be presented in separate videos. This video is the second of a new feature series for 2023. In this, in this video, I want to present the new integration of the calculated properties. It was already possible to create calculated properties for an AutoCAD Plan 3 project in former versions. But it was necessary to use the hidden command Plan Define Calc Properties, which wasn't documented in the online help. Look, we are here in former versions 2022. Let us try this command here. This command has opened a separate dialog which was separate from project setup. The new calculated property was added to a specific class in project setup, but it was not marked as a calculated property and for someone who is not aware of a calculated property, it has looked like a normal property. Also, you have to open plan define calc properties dialog again to see the definition of a calculated property. The good news is that this command is integrated in project setup in version 2023 now. You can add the calculated property directly as a new property to a class. This calculated property is marked as a property of type calculated property. If you click edit, you are able to see the definition of a calculated property. But let us create a new calculated property. Therefore, I'm opening the project setup and switching to a specific class. Let us switch to a class pipe run component. As usual, I click button add. But look now, in the dialog, I see a new property type calculated. Let us enter a name and finally select this new property type. After clicking OK, a new dialog pops up. In this dialog, let us select first the data type of this property. I am selecting string for this example. In the box at the left side, you see three sections, functions, properties, and operator symbols. At the bottom, you see the, see the details section. Every time when you are selecting a function or a property, the details section will be filled automatically by additional information about this property or function. For properties, you see the name, the data type, and if it's another calculated property, you see the definition of this property. If you're selecting a function, you can look for the syntax for the function of a function in this detail section. The available functions are still the same as they were before in former versions using plan defined calc properties. So you have a string function, substring to upper and to lower, and functions for converting to string to number. In node properties, you see all the properties which are available for that class, including all already added calculated properties. In this example, I am double clicking PMP class name. This property will be added to a section calculated property expression at the right. I want to combine this property with property short description separated by a plank. 
to do with I'm using the operator concatenated. The one with the double vertical lines. Now I'm adding single quote, blank, To add the blank. Again, we have to double click the concatenate operator. Finally, I'm adding the property short description to this expression. With add property, the property will be saved. When clicking edit for that property, I see again the definition of this calculated property and of course I can change it again. That is how it looks like in a model drawing. I'm drawing a short pipeline and adding a valve onto it. Additional flanges will be added. So let us look for the new property. Here it is. You see a combination of property P and P class name and the property short description in one property field. So this was about the new integration of the calculated properties. I hope it is useful for you. And this is what I wanted to present in this second part of a series about the new features in 2023 today. I'm looking forward for your comments to this video. Thank you for your time and goodbye.